in beautiful downtown Fort Worth at the Sundance Square Plaza. And look who I'm with. I'm joined here by the great Bill Paxton. Welcome home, Bill. Thank you. I don't know about great, but yes, I, <laughs> it's very strange. We're in the middle of the street here. We're in the middle of Main Street, but they've turned it into a beautiful plaza. And I, this is the first time I've seen this. All right, you grew up here in Fort Worth. I grew up here. When I was growing up here, after 5 o'clock, you could shoot a cannon down the street and not hit anybody. <laughs> But uh, I remember a lot of things coming down to Fort Worth. In fact, I remember my, uh, you know, when you, in the sixth grade, you have to write your first term papers. Mm -hmm. And my first term paper I wrote on bullfighting. Really? And my second term paper I wrote on filmmaking, and I called it a bird's eye view. Oh, look at you. And I, and I used to, I had kind of a ritual. I used to come down to Fort Worth, and then we would catch a, a matinee of a movie. And, then, and all the, the three main movie palaces were right along West 7th. Mm -hmm. There was the Hollywood, the Worth, and the Palace. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing movies like To Sir With Love. I didn't even know what these movies were. We just wanted to go to a movie. And uh, I saw my first Clint Eastwood, uh, you know, the Sergio Leone early mm -hmm. spaghetti westerns there. And uh, I just had a real tradition of coming to downtown Fort Worth. I'm thrilled to know that Fort Worth was such a big part of the of the inspiration or the introduction to the world of acting. That's that's exciting for Fort Worth has always been a bigger art town than people give it credit for. Mm -hmm. Well, and you are also here because, of course, a lot of Fort Worth too has a, an enormous amount of history. One date in particular comes to mind, November twenty second, nineteen sixty three. Um, I, am I wrong in saying that there's a picture of you? looking at John F. Kennedy. Yeah, oh, uh, This yeah. was the morning before yeah. his assassination. You were here at the Hotel Texas. Tell me I, about I that. I was. I was eight and a half. My brother was 11. And uh, the next morning, my brother woke my dad up and said, uh, you promised you'd take me and Bill to see the president. My dad looked outside the window, saw it was raining, and thought, gee, you know, I like, I like Kennedy, but he's got a big crowd in the rain and all this. And my dad and my brother, of course, used the two words that every parent dreads. You promised. You promised. We entered the crowd, and it was probably about a crowd of about four and a half thousand people. Mm -hmm. It's what I heard, read later. And I was very close. I was probably, oh God, I was, I was about 40 feet from the president. Mm -hmm. And I remember my dad was taking turns putting us up on his shoulders. And then there were two African American gentlemen, strangers, who saw my dad's dilemma and said, We'll take those boys. So for most of the speech, I'm on, I'm on a stranger's shoulders. I, I remember there was just an electricity in the crowd. Everyone was so excited. Let's talk a little so, bit more about your acting and also the I influence. Like about this I do too, I do too, but I want to talk to you about Texas yeah. Rising oh, because yeah. I know this is something you've been really proud mm. of. You played the iconic role, the father of Texas, Sam Houston. What was mm. that like for you? Well, it was the role of a lifetime. Sam Houston was such a, not just a remarkable, human being or in a remarkable Texan, but he, he's a, he was a great American. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of surprised knowing his history that he's not considered more of a national right. figure. Right. But God, this guy just was so much bigger than life, but he had such an understanding and he was really sympathetic to the Indians and took delegations to Washington. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's clear that you have such an admiration for him mm -hmm. and you have such a love of history. When looking at Texas Rising and, and reviewing it and also reading some of the criticism, there was some criticism that, that wasn't as historically accurate. Huh. What do you want to say what do you to mean these it's critics? It's the History Channel. <laughs> you what know you want what? To say? I got to tell you, I did a lot of research on the role, and you know, the, at the end of the day, the actor has to kind of use the script that's there. Now, you can have some influence. I did mm -hmm. challenge them on some things. But um, uh, I thought the piece was beautifully, beautifully staged and directed, and uh, I tried to instill the character with, with, a, with a sense of who I think, uh, from my research, this man was like. Well, I'm you still proud of the piece. I yes. think it's, it's a hell of a piece, and uh, I, I think it was overlooked in some ways. But I think, I think that certainly Sam Houston would be, would be proud because you brought him to life. You yeah. showcased his humanity. You showcased his well, history and the breadth of, of the character of the man. So mm. I congratulate you on that. Yeah, so being from Fort Worth and having a distant, you know, relation to the man. Yeah, I mean, 
where do I sign up? Right. So it was great. And also the, the, the big pork cho chops were You pretty sported great. that pretty well, I will they say. They used the old curling irons on our hair, which was kind of <laughs> cool. They still use these old curling irons that are, this is a technology like, from 300 years ago. Like the ones you put on the, on they the stove? They heat them up and they, and they wow. yeah, exactly. How interesting. Yeah. Well, you've done a lot in your career. You major motion pictures, Twister, Apollo 13, just to name a few that you were in. Big Love, and then of course this project, Texas Rising. What is next for Bill Paxton? I just did a small part with Glenn Headley. We played uh, Emma Watson's parents. Uh, I play a man afflicted with MS, which was a challenge. And that's in a movie called uh, The Circle, mm -hmm. directed by James Ponsolt. And uh, Tom Hanks is in that movie, and his company produced it. Well, this is exciting. It's been such a pleasure to talk to you and to learn a little bit about Bill Paxton. Welcome. Welcome home. Welcome back to Fort Worth. Well, and thanks thank for taking you. your time thank with you. me. It's nice to be back. I appreciate thank you. Very you. Much. I really do. Thank you.